was a big day in court for a well-known teacher sex assault case in Lakeland. But I want you to look at this. The real battle started outside of that courtroom, both sides getting into a feisty exchange after the judge decided he would not ease up on the 22-year sentence for former teacher Jennifer Fichter. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raish was right there in the middle of it all. Today, just feet outside the courtroom, tempers flared between Jennifer Fichter's mother and the victim's parents. Is your son alive? Is he alive? Is yours? Is he alive? Your daughter is my daughter. Stop daughter. it. Stop it. Life away. The two had to be separated by other family. The tension came after an emotional day in court. The former Lakeland teacher who admitted to having sex with three students found out the judge will not give her a break on the heavy 22-year sentence he handed down a year and a half ago. The parents of one of the teen boys pushed for a harsh sentence, and that seemed to anger Victor's family. We had to make a decision. Good. I could well, affect you can live another person's life, okay. and I did because Good. your I'm daughter glad. put you us in that predicament. You can live with it. These fireworks appear to mark the end of a story that's gripped the headlines for years. When she finally admitted last year that indeed she did have sex with her students, she expressed deep remorse, but few expected the 22-year punishment. Once a judge makes that initial decision, it's part of their nature not to second-guess themselves. Victor's new attorney, Robert Norgard, pushed hard for some relief, citing studies that show women who behave this way are doing it for emotional reasons and are not predators. And, of course, the defense brought up similar well-known cases. Who could forget Deborah Lefebvre, who did not get any prison time? I've been doing this over 35 years, and if you try to compare case to case, uh, you'll drive yourself crazy. It's apples and oranges. When all said and done, you can understand the emotions. Several families impacted one way or another. In Polk County, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.